away from Route 309 in wonderfully disgusting, almost inhabitable Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. A real happening place if you happen to be an illegal or a drug dealer or a murderer or somebody who likes holding up Turkey Hills and convenience stores. It's a workday edition of Fright the Lunatic Rants. Hey everyone. Yes, new luck. New luck. Walk too close to a ceiling fan. Cut my hair. I was in a midget's house. Oh, excuse me. We have to be politically correct. A vertically deprived person's house. And chopped my hair off. That's what it did. Anyhow. I, everybody's saying it makes me look younger, 10 years younger. I think it makes me look older. What do you think? Comment about that. What do you think about the hair? Look. What do you think? Comment. And while you're at it, besides commenting, subscribe if you're new. And somewhere in the corner, one of these two corners, it says the useful box, click it. It's really useful. It's useful to me because it makes you subscribe to me. How about that? There you go. Subliminal messages. Subscribe to Frank. And why not send me fan mail? Across the bottom, you'll, you'll see a uh, thing. Frank the Lunatic at gmail.com. Send me fan mail. Maybe one of these days if I get enough email, maybe I'll uh, read them. How about that? Anyhow, what I'm ranting about today. Ah, now that the summer's here. I'm here. It's concert time. So I'm going to rant about ticket prices at venues and that. Now, first of all, there's basically one conglomerate out there when it comes to controlling major majority of the tickets, and that, that's Ticketmaster. And, uh, and you have, like, Live Nation, which is one of the biggest concert venue promoter type of things. Here's the problem with ticket prices. First of all, what a freaking ripoff they are. <laughs> all these come on sales and advertising and that. For example, there was an event that we were going to take the kids to. Um, it was a wrestling event. You know, and they're advertising like crazy about like how they were like cheap tickets. Like, you know, on a certain day, you know, $20, I think it was. I want to say it was like $20 for the ticket, something like that. But here's the catch. First of all, you call up, if you call up the place directly, which was, uh, what the hell it's called now. It used to be Wachovia Arena. I don't know what the hell it's called now in Wilkesbury. Um, they, they don't bring that up. Oh, there are none. Even though you go online, there's some. Like, it, it's interesting. Well, if you do find the cheap ticket prices, that $20 ticket, by the time you're done with all the rip-off fees and everything else, the $20 ticket winds up costing you like 60 something dollars a person. Or something like that. There were some tickets out there that after the fees, you know, you're paying like $100 a person. Because you got fees for everything. You know, you have to fees for the township, fees for the venue, fees for the promoter, fees for the prostitute in the back alley, fees for my brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, nephews, mailmans, daughters, boyfriends, puppy. You know, it... Just fees, 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 tons of fees. Why don't you advertise the ticket prices with the goddamn fees? Seriously. If you know that the tickets for this section are going to be $100 and not $30, advertise that. Truth in advertising. Tickets are $100. But see, they're afraid they're not going to get people. They rather sucker people in, you know, after you, you're telling your kids, about, oh, yeah, we're going to go see wrestling. And you go, oh, yeah, 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 we're going to see wrestling. And then you're suckered because, you know, you already told your kids that. Then you go to look up the damn tickets and you go to go check out. And you're like, holy shit. All these fees. Oh, my God. There's fees for me. Then you look up under the fees. There's even a fee for you. There's a fee for you appearing there. You charge yourself a fee that you don't even get. Seriously, somewhere in there, there probably is a fee like that. It's outrageous. It, it, it's it's literally outrageous what these places freaking charge. And, and, and then the best is when you get to concerts. You know, I'm sorry, but I understand lawn seats, things like that are different. But like front, for example, let's just say a front row seating. Just say. 
at a concert. You're going to, I don't know, let's say you're going to Kiss or something. You know, let's just say Front Row was, at one place it's $100, at another place it's $150, at another place it's 200 Why? It's still Front freaking Row to see the same band that's doing the same lineup, the same set. Why is it more at one place than another? I, I am ridiculously more. Lawn seat, you know, lawn's the same way. You could have freaking, you could have twenty dollar lawn seats one place, fifty dollars in another. Why? That's why I sometimes wonder when these you know bands come out and they they do. Oh, we love you. Oh, I love you. We love our fans. Do do you? Do you even realize? how badly your fans are getting ripped off. And you're probably getting ripped off too because after all, you're not making all that money from that. I mean, the venue makes such a big portion and the promoter makes a, such a, a big portion from it. They all, um, performers, singers. When was the last time you actually bought a ticket and went to see something? Because you usually don't. Like, if you go somewhere, you usually get like promo tickets and that, you know, you go for free and shit like that. When was the last time you really priced your own event? You'd probably be shocked to see how much your fans are being ripped off. And then you'd probably actually like your fans even more. Because they really are loyal fans if they're willing to spend that much of their hard-earned money to come see you. Because it's not like these things are cheap at all, by far. That's why I hardly go to concerts anymore. You can't, you can't afford it anymore. It, it's downright ridiculous what these things cost. The same is true, you know, with other type of uh, things too. Like when they used to have the circus, it's like you look up the prices and it's like, holy shit! It's it's incredible with some of this stuff. Just the fees, you know, like I'm sorry, truth in advertising. You, why don't you just be come up front, like on the websites? You know, you ever you go to search the ticket prices. Don't say that they're thirty dollars and sixty dollars and eighty dollars and a hundred dollars, and then have the little thing you know say plus tax and fee. Have the bottom line. What the bottom line prices? But that's the thing. You won't be able to sucker enough people in then if you had the bottom line price showing. Really? Come on. It. it does it really need to cost that much? Just like, you know, again, front row seats. Come on. And, or some of the the artists. That's like, what was it? Celine Dion. I remember hearing <laughs> wonderful horror stories about ticket prices. You know, <laughs> you know, like, I think an affordable thing was like $100 or $150. You know, oh, you want front row? You better sign, sign over your kidney and your two kids. Come on. What do you think about it? Comment seriously. You know why? Why are prices so bad? Why is it you have to, something like the Peach Fest or something like that? Some like you know druggy hallucinatory uh, <laughs> event. The tickets are super dirt cheap. <laughs> you know, but other venue, other things at the same place are so much more expensive. And it's it's like why? It's the same venue. Nothing's changed. It's the same seating. So why does it cost more? Why are the fees so much? Tell me. Comment below. What do, what's your opinion on it? Come on. Tell me about this one. All right? Anyhow, I'm Frank the Lunatic. That, my friends, is all I have to say about that. Pretty car, pretty car, pretty car, pretty car, pretty car.